perpendicular bisector of the line AB. Start off by putting your compass point on A and then stretch out the pencil till it's beyond halfway. That will be about halfway. Take it further than that to around three quarters of the way, two thirds of the way to B. And then you're going to draw an arc which goes above the line and also below the line, like so. Something like that. Then you're going to repeat the exercise, except this time you're going to put the compass point on B, like that. And we're going to draw a similar arc, but like a mirror image, like that. The important point is that these two arcs cross above and below the line. Now we're ready to draw the perpendicular bisector. Put the ruler on so that it goes from where these two arcs at the top cross and where the two arcs at the bottom cross. I'll put my ruler on, line it up carefully. And draw a straight line there. And I'm going to call that C D. C D is a perpendicular bisector of A B. In other words, the distance between A and this line is exactly the same as the distance between B and this line. And this angle here is 90 degrees.